all excited. No, I definitely knew it was a bar when it started. I was like, why? What New Zealand joke are you about to start up? Then I saw that he's at, uh, he's at a sheep. It just makes you think of the, um, what was it, the Bollywood film where yeah. it's like a, uh, what was it called? A Bollywood film about like some professor who makes an android is basically like himself, sort of thing. Long story short, the actual professor is hiding amongst Star the robots that look Andoridian or something like that. I don't know, I've never seen it, but that Star Trek, that's uh, Professor Soon that made Del um, Delta, Data. Yeah, no, in this case it was um, trying to make an advanced AI, like, you know, help a robot, um, but blah blah blah, plot happens, someone tries to make it a weapon, turns evil, yada yada yada. So, the good professor's hiding in basically a group of the clone robots and, you know, trying to infiltrate them, whatever. And so the leader of one's like, okay, so how do we work out which one's human? Because he doesn't have the sense to pick up between human robots, just purely visual. And he's like, okay, everyone, start rotating your heads. And they all start spinning their heads around, you know, exorcist style. Um, except for the professor, being human, of course, can't do that. So he points at him and he goes, ha! Bah! Black sheep! Yeah, I find Bollywood films to be rather hilarious. And sometimes kind of racist. Uh, yeah, I was gonna trim, it, uh, trim out or skip over some of the singing because that's just not my jam, but uh, a couple of them haven't been too bad. Well, 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 I got Fiat 56 again. What do you know? Right, now it's a good, good opportunity to go off and make a coffee, I suppose. So, um, I'm on the wrong thing. <clears throat> Great job. Uh, head over to somewhere by using this button here. Um, if, well, if you come down, I suppose, yeah, yeah that, that'll do. That'll, that'll work fine. Um, then what? Mm, good question. Probably not big enough to do a headland, is it? Probably not. I'll just stick that there and see what happens. <clears throat> that happened. Alright, hopefully you can do that. I'm going to go off and uh, make myself a coffee, and you guys can watch course play do a job hopefully using uh, Giant's brilliant AI to get to the field and then using course play's absolute genius of doing the field so I shall return shortly that 4% left on the field somewhere and I've got to work out which edge is missing. Mm. You could just yeah. That. that stuff sucks. Of course it was the first edge. Awesome. Isn't it always? Yeah, usually I'm not too bad for it, but uh, this time it was like, oh hey, we're up to 80% with 3 meters to go, and 98% still, 96%. Okay, so obviously the, the trimming makes a difference. Uh-huh. Then you get to somewhere like field 38 and you're like, you don't even know where you stopped, uh, where the, where you've done and where you haven't done. And I've just gone and done a silly. Uh, I haven't done that for ages. What? Completed a contract while still sitting in the tracker that I need for the next contract without unloading it first. Yeah, Goodbye, 2,000 litres of herbicide. It kind, of, kind of sucks when you only got one tractor when you can have two. Oh, specifically, they don't normally pack a um, sprayer of any description, and uh, that had all my spare herbicide. Mm hmm.
I have the perfect name for JJ's farm. Right now he only calls it JJ's farm, which is boring. He should call it purple grain. <laughs> purple grain. <laughs> what do you call your farm, Smitter? Grego Bear Estates. Alright. And you think you had the right with that name tickle my farm boring? Mm -hmm. That's a penalty there, man. Because your farm is just JJ. It's boring. <laughs> well, the bands need to get into a fruit orchard and be Jimmy's jams. That would be cool. Oh, he could have could name it downstream farm. I could have named it my farm. <laughs> my farm. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be finished by the end of this one row and I don't have to come up the other side because it seems like the distance between the two lines is a bit of a waste of time and fertiliser. Yeah, you'll probably have to turn around and drive up like a quarter of the field or something like that. Just look at the strip. But it's missing. There's nah. Nah, I'll no. be done before I get to the end, surely. <laughs> Is there other? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Oh, oh hang on. Let me do that. Reverse. Get rid of that course. Uh, field 36. Oh, again. That's up the... Uh, up the... Uh, 36. Bottom line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did. I did spray that one with the herbicide. Up, up, down, down. BA star. <laughs> Select, start, select, start. You got 30 lives. What's your NK? It's actually one of the funniest uh, PC cheats I've ever seen. Uh, it's Grand Theft Auto 3 for all weapons, you're just typing guns three times. Yeah. If you type it on a fourth time, it still considers it that you've typed it three times because it's a single stream. So you just go guns, 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 guns. <laughs> Pretty much. Of the old PlayStation ones, you know, doing like a ritual dance. Yeah, up, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. Uh, there was up, down, there was R1, R2, R1, R2, uh, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then left, down, 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 and then left, down, right. Well, it's, it's gonna be the up tone that's gonna funk you up. Up tones funk you up. 
Jeez. Okay, well, I remember it was not so much a cheat code, but a trick was uh, Twisted Metal 2 for PlayStation 1. It was oh, yeah. left right up to fire a freeze blast. I'm gonna have to reload Windows again, by the way. After I'll doing try it. Linux Mint. Fun. After just doing it not even a week ago. <clears throat> well, maybe it was a week ago, just over a week ago. Because uh, I found something. A week ago. <laughs> I found something out oh, that was. Um, I didn't realise. Um, which made no sense to me, but. You know when you load drivers, they tell you to restart your computer? Yep. So what I do is I go, no, just to make sure, I'll, turn, I'll shut it down and start it back up. Give it a proper shutdown. Yep. Turns out, that's not what happens. In no. fact, you're better, better off restarting. Yep. Which oh, might yeah, be the reason. Nice shutdown, yeah. I had that when I was... Sorry to jump all over you, but yeah. No, that's right not. Mean. Yeah, because of the fast startup. So mm -hmm. it doesn't it doesn't shut the the kernel file thing down, operation down properly. Your PC's not when you shut your PC down, it's not actually shut down. So, so extended version of suspend or yeah, yeah. So and what you want is you want the kernel to shut down, so it restarts, refresh, and loads everything in. That's the reason why you should, you should do it. So because of that, I probably got a lot of drivers that didn't initiate properly because I was doing that instead of just a restart. Mm -hmm. I think, I think, I can't remember if I actually did, did, did do shutdowns or restarts, I can't remember. So I might as well from just what, do it. From what, yeah, from what you've told, just told us, it's more or less you've done shutdowns than restarts. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know for sure, so I'm going to do it knowing that knowledge now, so I know I've actually done it and seen, because I'm still having a few problems with this. Which would be nice if that's the issue, even though I used to do it with the other one and never had any problems with it, I think. Um, then it would be nice to know it's not actually my motherboard or my CPU after all. If it, you know, still having problems, then it's one of those, and I can't afford to find out which one it is. Or send it away to find out what's wrong with it. Which is my problem, but um, yeah, well I've turned it off, i turned that option off now, so when I do shut my PC down, it is like restarting, it is properly shut down. Yeah, yeah. in my case it was, um, Windows will lock the partition table on the hard drive, so when I did my whole Linux swap over, I was having issues, even though Linux can read NTFS, um, I was having trouble accessing the hard drives because they were marked as in use slash locked by Windows account. So I'm having to go back into Windows, and, uh, do the proper slow shutdown, or just have a fast boot and shut down that way, and then unlocked everything. And I was like, well, one hard drive's only got Steam files and OBS capture files, nothing else. Let's just clear that and read one of the leaves format. It's easier. Yeah. I mean, it's not an issue redoing it. I mean, because I've got the really fast hard drives, I, I just copy everything I want back up over to the other hard drive. That takes, like, with the other two STDs I had, uh, well, one is is the one hybrid. It take forever to copy all my documents over and everything because I've got all my mods and all that for the game saves, and that's the biggest one. And then I just grab some stuff out of the um, application data from Roaming or local, low or local that I need where some game saves are kept. Um, the, the, but that was the biggest one, and that was the biggest hassle. Uh, Windows, I can do, it's done in, in 30 minutes, because I do it off a flash drive. So I load it in off a flash drive, it takes 30 minutes before Windows is up, and then it's just the downloading of um, all the updates, which is not much, because when I normally do it, I do the, I grab the latest version of Windows and put that on the first flash drive, so when I do the updates, there's not that many. <coughs> Uh, it's just downloading the games and stuff so but now i've got those other hard drives it, it takes like five minutes to transfer like hundreds of gigs over from one hard drive to the other makes it a lot quicker so it's, it's not that issue but at least i know now i know that i can make double sure and hope that that's not windows 
Um, that's the problem. It might be that my old motherboard and CPU, even though if I was doing that, didn't really cause an issue because of the driver type and the motherboard, maybe how old it was or anything. Maybe it didn't even have that feature. I assume it would have. It had the fast start feature on it, and that's the reason why where this one has with the different drivers and different chipsets and everything else like that, where it might affect it more because of being newer and uh, the type of motherboard and CPU it is. Home sweet home, no contracts left. another $175,000 and I'm debt free. I'm just wondering if I'm going to stay debt free from now on and just save up. I'm just wondering if grabbing those loans in the long run hurt me, even though I've got all my gear in that and didn't really have to buy it anymore, but all that interest I paid by the time I paid it back. Yeah, but did you pay more in interest in, uh, than what you would have paid for in... Uh, contract leasing fees. Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, it, it, no. Uh. And you could have not, couldn't have uh, mold your grass and stuff. Yeah, true. But the problem is, is at the moment because of those. Leasing the, see, the, the, if, if I get a contract, I miss out on a thousand dollars or for whatever the amount it is, you know, um, at that time for that contract. But with the loan, I'm missing out on thousands of dollars every single day. So, with the, with the contract loan, I might, might have missed it, missed out of you know, a whole day. I suppose it depends on the contract, how many it is, so. But then again, it's not every day. If it's over a year, it might might have been better off because we don't have contracts over, what, three months. So there's three months of me not losing, gaining money, but not losing out on money. Where <laughs> on those three months, I'm still paying the three months. It's um, three sixes. Uh, what am I doing? Two, six, two, oh, my God. Two threes are six. I know what six days mean. of interest. See, well, I told you what my, my bloody injection. I'll tell you what. That vaccination. No wonder I had a deep feeling and, and down inside it was a bad idea to get it, and I still wouldn't got it. Is that your first shot? Yeah, it's my first. Mm. Once, once you have both shots, um, you get the Bill Gates Microsoft Super Ship. That would uh, negate your Windows issues too. Oh, and then the Just booster. Saying. Got the third shot as well. Well, it's just to replenish the lava battery packs. Mm. Uh, it's a firmware update. Pretty much. Hey, Mike, how are you? <laughs> oh, that, I think that was me too, I'm chat, yeah. Right, reverse to what do. Just gonna put the rest in, yeah. That's gonna need a wash. 
Where's my other track there? Have I left it out somewhere? Nope. Let's see it. Well, one dollar in wages. Outrageous. The workers are thieving beggars. Mm. No, I might as well not bother taking this off. Mind you, how, how much more fertilizing, well, the herbicide is going to be needed. Hmm, herbicide's going to be needed. No, but just to be on the safe side, I will leave it on for the moment. It won't take me long to take it off. I mean, no, if at no. all, there will be a few herbiciding. Contracts. I mean, you can't just check the uh, fertilized status of the map. So, uh, any fields that aren't fully fertilized yet? No, oh, I like the surprise. Keep me on my toes. It's a fantastic water blaster, this. This, um, what do they call it? Pressure washer. Okay. Because um, you just clean the outside of your trailer with it, and it magically does the inside as well. Modern technology, eh? Oh, Well, I'm ready to sleep. I'm also ready to sleep in the game as well. I am ready to sleep too. Yep. Yep. Was more grain? You mean no more grain to harvest or deliver, Mike? I assume, considering you got the yeah, 2000. Okay, well, I thought that was fixed. Is that a recent thing, or was that way before they fixed that issue? Because that was an issue when it first came out. Only one contract again. Mm -hmm. Keep again. Again, what? Like, yeah. Yeah, Quabs yeah. out. Just heard him. Uh, it's only because it was on the mod map, mate. Because it they. Part of it's all to do with giants. Um, map modder only and, specifies uh, which <clears throat> fields can have contracts on them and what jobs, otherwise, the rest of it's all to do with giants. 
All right, we've got uh, quite a few here. We've got some harvesting jobs, fantastic, in the wet. Uh, that's all you want. Uh, some bailing jobs. Wow. And a bunch of fertilizing jobs. None of you should take any of the harvesting jobs, though. Yeah, no, I just said that because it's wet. <clears throat> oh, hang on, it's finished raining. No, that's not what I mean. They all go to the grain mill. Which you won't. So it doesn't fix it. Exactly. You lied. I'm not sure. I will. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you still have a drop point here. You can just sp uh, hop up and check if there's still the trailer thingy above the grade for you guys. If there is, then you still can deliver here. Well, I've got. There's not. It's on the map, but it says owned by you. And yeah, but, you know, if you if you teleport to there and check no. above the grade, if there no, it isn't there. Then you cannot deliver there. Which means you get to do all the harvesting job. Well, the ones that go to the grain mill at least. Which is all three of them. Yep. Yeah. Oh no. Well, in that case, that's an interesting thing because that's... Ooh. Because the problem there is, is you can take other contracts and leave the mm -hmm. harvesting ones knowing that we can't do them and take some of the other contracts away from us and then do the harvest ones after you finish with that, which is a real bad I, thing for us. I don't know if I like that I or not. Technically, I technically could do that, but if there are no more contracts left to do, you can skip the night. So... Well, I was going to say is it also depends whether it will allow us to jump it there on the basis of what we're doing a contract, maybe not for personal use. And on the other hand, okay, I need the hang crop. On. Oh, hang on. I was going to I was going to set the contract, see if it came up with the dump thing. But then again, you get the crop as well, and that's one reason why I won't want the harvesting job. No, because it's helping you out. Well, yeah, and I but want the harvesting way. jobs. I want the harvesting jobs because my uh, the the grain mill is almost empty. So, actually, come to think of it, it doesn't really matter because uh, even though you get the grain, make money off it. If I decide not to do it because you get the grain, I'm still missing out on that money from the contract of the harvesting anyway. And any any overhang, I can take somewhere else. Well, you need to prepare the wheel anyway. Yeah, I do. Yeah, Dave. Um, so, but the the pro the thing is, we don't know if we can actually deliver there or not. I mean, you can try one of the contracts and check. But yeah, but we're, we're you, losing. You couldn't you couldn't deliver to the spinnery, so why should it be different? You know. That's true. Yeah, actually. And now there's four contracts, one which goes to Johnson's family market. Johnson's, yeah. Uh, it's an interesting thing, this, isn't it? Interesting. I mean, technically, I could just take the harvesting contracts and don't do any other contract as a penalty. Or something. Yeah, well, I was thinking that, but eventually we probably end up with productions that have contracts to go there and you can't do it. But since we can, I think because we, we know we can't deliver there, it's no point. So I think that if there's a contract that goes to a person's production, that person can only do the contract and they have to do those contracts first. Yeah, that seems at, fair. Before going off to do other contracts. Okay. Yeah, so I can take basically just pick two of those and uh, you can delete me from the wheel for this round. Yeah. Yep. All right. We can do that. Let's so, do that then. Okay. But don't start those contracts until we've finished with the wheel. No, obviously. I wait until you guys are done. All I'm going to do is send my 
henchmen. All right, and I'll just to the field. I'll just fix this real thing up to get rid of your name. So that's it, ready to go. First spin. DJ. Okay. <laughs> Next one up is me. Yeah, stuff you, Patrick. <clears throat> Right, what am I going to pick? Oh, I just want to check something like this. Am I going to be lucky? No, I'm not. How much is it? Um, might be worthwhile just so I can do it. Uh, will it work though? 'll be using pallets later on I don't know so later and I'm just buying something quickly hopefully it works otherwise give me my money back right uh contract so I'll go with um That one. Oh, oh that's, I have to borrow it. Damn it. All right. Next up is. Oh, well, 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 well. That's unexpected. Okay. Uh, that's me, by the way. Uh, that's why I said it's unexpected. Mm -hmm. Sure, it is, buddy. Uh, I don't need any of those, so I can just accept that contract. Right. Oh, damn it. I forgot to remove my name. Lol. Well, I can remove it now since it landed on it again. Rigged. Oh, well, that makes things easier, doesn't it? DJ. What's up? Uh... Okay. You say, Patrick, and you just pick your two. 